it's just a fabulous car. It's beautiful and reliable, and I, I just I love it to death. When I was a young boy, my old man had a bunch of cool cars, and he lived in Italy and raced Lancias and Ferraris and Alphas and stuff. He brought a Lancia Aurelia back with him. Unfortunately, he sold his 250 Lusso uh, before he came back, but he, he brought the Lancia Aurelia back, which uh, I never really quite understood, but that was a cool car and I liked it. Uh, well, on a field trip to uh, uh, Fernbank was when I saw my first Ferrari in, in, in the wild. Uh, it was a yellow three-way GTB, and man, that thing sounded incredible and just looked amazing. So that really, really revved my interest in cars up. I've owned my uh, 1984 Ferrari 308 Quattro valve uh, for 16 years. I bought it in May of 2001 from a collector in New York, uh, Roger Kraft, um, from for the Kraft Corporation. Um, he's one of the descendants of it, and uh, he had a really nice collection. And unfortunately, he was just getting elderly and couldn't get himself in and out of this car, so I considered myself that I rescued this car from him. I was in the process of buying a red 911 Turbo and was literally handed the check, just about handed the check over to him. And, uh, and then I got a call that this metallic black 308 GTS was available. That's literally what I wanted, was a, a black 308. And uh, so I ended up buying that from Roger Kraft. And, um, bought it in New York, uh, Forest Hills, New York. Drove it through the city and drove it back to Atlanta. And uh, some of my photographs, you can see the World Trade Center in the background. And, and the car ran great the whole way, just about until I was about uh, 10 miles outside of the house, and just an enormous downpour came down and um, shorted out one of the uh, spark plug extenders, so it started running on seven cylinders. I was like, oh my God, what did I do to this car? And I didn't know anything about these cars. And, uh, but uh, she's still with me. I, I've done all kinds of work to it, um, take it to the dealership for service, and it, it just gets a, you know, a lot of attention, and I've showed it. I can't even count how many car shows we've done together, but just recently in 2016, we won first place best in class in the uh, um, international uh, part of the Atlanta Concord. And that was that was a lot of fun. And uh, so it's a, it's a big part of my family, that car. Um, my wife and I you know, got married in it, drove off in it, spent a lot of time in it. All my children, I've got three beautiful kids, and, even before they went into a stroller, I took them around the block in the Ferrari when they were five days old, throw them in the car, throw them in the car seat, take them around the block. So they, you know, I, my two boys absolutely love the car. So that, that car's got a, an enormous part of my heart and a huge part of my family and my life. Um, I'll never get rid of it, but uh, it's just a fabulous car. It's beautiful and reliable and I, I just, I love it to death. God, I paid twenty eight five for it. Um, in 2001 and then since then we've had two big bubbles brew and pop in that interim of time um, just recently the bubble popped about a year and a half two years ago um, I would think that at the peak time the car could be worth hundred twenty five hundred thirty thousand dollars with the documentation and the rarity of the color and stuff but today maybe 75 grand you know which I still think is a whole lot of car for the money um, if you're into old 80s and along having to shift you know stuttering age pattern stuff that i i mean it's it's a very very rewarding car um the newer cars are blisteringly fast the shifts are ridiculous um my kids still talk about the huracan i, I took a huracan home um and you know took them to school and ran a bunch of errands in that huracan and i to this day i just can't get over how fast the shifts are i just can't believe it so then after we would had the huracan i took the boys out on the 308 and they said we get it now you know, they saw me, you know, shifting and slow shift and, you know, how, how much time it took to shift a gear and get into another gear and get back into the rev. Um, they couldn't believe it. They just, uh, how antiquated that was. You know, oh, you've got to push the clutch in and shift your gears and everything. But, so they, they really uh, understood the mechanical engineering of it. Back in the day, you didn't have a paddle shifter. With the power and the speed and the, the incredible performance of these cars, you absolutely have to have paddle shifters, you know, so manual shifts are going to be soon the thing of the past, and uh, I'll miss that desperately, but all of my cars, all, I've, got a, I've got four 1980s era cars, and they're all, you know, manual shifts, um, 
I guess that's what performance cars were back then. You know, I've got a Ferrari 308, 944 turbo portion. <clears throat> I've got an 89 Maserati 430, which is the final evolution of the B turbos before they stopped bringing them in. And uh, my most recent acquisition is an 86 Shelby GLHS. It's based on the Dodge Omni, little square Econo box that they put, you know, a Chrysler turbo motor in it, 175 horsepower. That thing's a hoot, absolute hoot to drive. Major services are important at, you know, almost uh, surgical intervals. Um, but as long as you change the oil and keep the belts fresh and stay on top of those things and reuse the car, I guess the worst thing you could ever do to an old Ferrari or an old sports car is not using it. Um, we got, we've been very lucky with the weather that we've been having recently, so uh, I've been using it quite a bit. You just can't let them sit. And that's where the problems come from. Seals will dry up and uh, rubber items will disintegrate. So you can't do that. You've got to use your cars as much as possible. And I do, I, I use my car. It's got 60, 61,000 miles on it. And uh, I bought it, it had 29,000 miles on it. So I've driven it a lot over the past 16 years, considering, you know, it's a third car for us. And, uh, but um, I, I do, I have done, gosh, four major services on the car. Just from time duration alone, um, but other than that, the cars never let me down. Um, and I guess the only recurring problems that we have is that it'll eat up water pump belts because the belt is so tiny. So that's the only problem that I've had with it. It's never let me down. Very reliable, uh, like a Swiss watch almost. And uh, I know we're fans of those as well. And but uh, and I've always kept that car because it's an unusual car, metallic black on tan, '84 model. Quattro valve, so the four valve car. Um, it's an 84, which is identical to an 84 and an 85 model. Um, a little bit different than an 83 model. So the 83 QVs are different than 84, 85s. Um, emission system and some paint differences and things like that. But um, I love the car. Um, it's been great to, to me. I've got an unbelievable amount of service records and information and documents from the factory about it. I've spoken to the factory about my car. Uh, it's, uh, it's an incredible journey with this car. And I've had a lot of cars in the interim, so even still, I mean, I've, I've always kept this Ferrari. I mean, I've had Porsches and Maseratis and Rolls Royces and Bentleys and all kinds of cool stuff, but I've always kept that little 308. It's got a special place in my heart. I love it, and I'll never sell it. Maybe my wife or my estate will sell it, but not me. <laughs>